Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about ordering integers. Okay, so what I want you to know by the end of this video is how to take some integers and put them in order. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you have a list of integers and you're asked to put them in order is to create a number line. And now the number line is going to vary based on the numbers that you get. You know, you might want to start with zero, put some positive numbers, put some negative numbers, but you may not always need to do that. It just depends on your numbers. All right. So once you have the number line, you know your numbers, you graph your numbers on the number line. Once you have them graphed, then you just list, if you're going from least to greatest, you list your numbers from left to right. If you're going from greatest to least, you list your numbers right to left. It's that simple. So I'm going to give you three examples. We're going to start with all positive numbers. Keep it simple. All right, here's example number one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and once again, you don't always need to do this, but I have some numbers that are going to be on this number line. So our first example is 9, 5, 6, and 4. So I want to graph them. So that so if I'm going to order these from least to greatest, I'm just going to read them from left to right. 4 is my smallest number. Next is 5, then I have 6, and then I have 9. So those are my numbers in order from least to greatest. And I would just do the reverse if I'm going from greatest to least. All right, let's look at the next set of numbers. I'm going to kind of erase these. This may get a little confusing. All right, so the next set of numbers, example 2, are going to be both positive and negative. All right, so my numbers are... Okay, so 10 is right here on my number line. Negative 9 is over here on my number line. Positive 9, well, I had that before. That's right there. And then negative 1 is right there. If I want to order these from least to greatest, then I just read from left to right. So my first number is negative 9. My next number is negative 1. My next number is 9. And my next number is 10. So that's an order from least to greatest. If I were to go the reverse, it'd be 10, 9, negative 1, negative 9. That would be from greatest to least. All right, let's look at one more example. That's my numbers. So first thing, we graph them. There's 0 right there. Next, we have negative 3. Next we have negative 10, negative 10 is right there, and then I have negative 4. So those are my numbers graphed, and I'm going to stick the order right up here, just to make sure I, you can see it. From, let's do great, now let's do least to greatest, let's stick with that. So my first number, going left to right, negative 10. My next number, negative 4. My next number, negative 3. My next number is 0. So. This is going from least to greatest. So in this case, zero is the biggest number in that group. Okay? And that's a hard thing to remember. But zero does have value. Zero is not, it's just the absence of something. But it has a place value. Okay? That's not the smallest number out there. Anything to the left of zero on the number line is going to be smaller. 